Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. It's so cool living out in the country. You never know who's gonna stop by. Y'all stick around to see who it is. Today, we're gonna talk about this RAV4 and um, we abuse it every day and hardly ever clean it out. So I'm gonna do a major clean out today. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna organize it. So um, if it's something you're interested in about stuff that I keep in my RAV4 for my cattle farm. Y'all stick around. This is my little 99 RAV4. Got 260 something thousand miles on it and uh, lots of dents and miles and the cows just run and kick and you know, lick and everything else, but we abuse this thing. We spray with it. I've got the little spray trailer we pull with it. Um, spent the night in this thing waiting on a cow to calf. We pull trailers and haul just about everything you can think of. If it's too long, we'll strap it on top. I mean, it's strapped it to like right through here. Um, but today, it's in desperate need of a clean out. I mean, just look. Can't even, like, find anything. But when you're so busy, you just don't take time to keep it organized. Let's see what I can do for this bad boy. My friend and neighbor now, Kobe. Yeah. And Buck he came by to see me for a minute. Yeah. Kobe's a big help to us um, whenever we need him, need an extra hand on the farm and when I broke my ankle and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, <laughs> just riding by, I thought I'd been for a little while. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't you don't see that very often anymore. You don't, you really don't, <laughs> but it beats paying for gas, I mean. Ain't that the truth? It is, it is. <laughs> it's about $50 a week for feed for him and it beats $500 each month for you know filling up my car so well, that's true i'd rather ride him and take a little bit longer than going in my car yeah well all right thanks for stopping by today no problem five gallon bucket of tools it definitely needs to be cleaned out and reorganized can't find anything when it looks like that all of that was just under my driver's seat <laughs> oh my goodness i was like i'm having a yard sale yeah all this came out of my rav4 Oh, I'm not great at organizing. Hoping I might have some help here in a minute. I think I'm gonna see about using a leaf blower to blow in and out. Sounds like a great idea. Pretty funny, look how much ryegrass seed I have under my seat. <laughs> it got stuck under the jack. So I guess it's a little bit overwhelming looking at all this going, what am I gonna do with it? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick out the things that we have to have in the car. What do I need every day and kind of go from there. For instance, ratchet straps is a must. This is my fence tester. Got two of those in there. This thing is awesome. Can't go without WD-40 and duct tape. Just can't farm without it. Zip ties. My medical kit. Anyway, we'll keep going. Okay, so far, I have a bag of random ropes and cords. You never know when you need to tie something together or have something that you can tie an electric fence off with. That's my glove compartment. And... It's just a little crate that I keep some random stuff in. Over here, this is my section where I keep my waters. I have water minute waters, hoses, um, the little, you know what they're called, the little V's. You can have two water hoses hooked up, washers, whatever we can find in there. And of course we got some random boxes we're gonna take back to the farm. This we've collected forever. Uh, my toolbox reorganized. 
so I can look down in there and find whatever I need. I love this bucket. This is my air compressor. You never know when you need to air something up. You can hook it to your battery on your car. This is my gun holder. So we're always um, you know, on the lookout for buzzards. I've had one kill a calf before. Uh, we've saw coyotes. We have a lot of coyotes here in this area. So uh, you definitely gotta protect your herd. And WD-40, can't go anywhere without that. And then over there in that little red case, I have my batteries for my flashlights. This is my little medicine kit. And I've got some rest floors, some Orph No More, needle syringes, gloves, a thermometer, some mask, but I'm trying to be prepared. And I have a little bag of sugar. Um, if you have one that's prolapsed, just at the beginning, I've heard you can rub sugar on it and it'll somehow make it go back in, but I've actually used it before and it, it did help. So in this bag, we have our tuber, uh, in case you have a calf that needs tubing. I really like this brand better than the other kind with the bag that held, hangs up. Um, it worked really well. I haven't had to use it this year, thank goodness. Uh, bottles, extra nipples, and if you ever get out into the pasture and you're needing to mix up a bottle, colostrum, or you know, replacement milk, whatever, those old spoons will save you because it's really hard to mix that stuff up. Um, keep some alcohol in here. I'm just trying to combine two bags because I just have so much in my car that I'd like for it to be a little more organized. In the front pouch, I have some old scissors, Germex, wet wipes, um, some bag balm, hemorrhoidal ointment. The vet told me to use that if we had one relapse as well. And then this is a little applicator and give a calf one of these little boluses. I haven't used that in a while either. But if you do not have this, I recommend you get one. We went over this in a different video, but we've had this happen before where we had a, a cow get hardware disease and um, you actually take this magnet and put it down their throat and it will It'll go stay in their stomach and it'll help dissolve any metal that they might have swallowed. So, I mean, I believe with all my heart we've saved some cows using this. And it's good to do this because in um, putting this bag together, I realized that I've used all my colostrum. So I really need to get another bag of colostrum replacer. The bag is the one I use for calving season. I like to always keep it in my car. I probably don't have to, but so in here I have my tags. I try to have them already pre uh, made up. And I have a list of all my cows, my tagging pen, a regular ink pen. I did give this calf a tag because she was 49 pounds and she had the smallest ears. I have that. I have the applicator to put the tag in. I have my calf pulling rope another part of the tag. I also have my bander and the little bands if we decide to band one. So you know, each of my bags have a purpose. This bag I have random sprayer parts, um, clamps, tape, lids, this takes her stuff for our sprayers. And then I have another bag and I thought since my cords are all red and black for the sprayers, which have random cords, parts for that, fuses, a couple of 12 volt battery solar panel chargers. Forget our blue jeans, you never know when you might need a patch this time of year for um, a cow or calf that's got pink eye. We're hoping we don't have to use it anymore, um, but you never know. Right, other than a good washing, we're packed and ready to go. Let's see the floorboard looks so much better. And the flashlights are here. Some stuff over there that needs to go back to the farm. Other receipts I have. 
a rolled up big black garbage bag, sunscreen and zip ties. The other side has ratchet straps. And we showed you my bucket. And I've got my, my bag sitting here. So I actually have some room in the floorboard. In between the seats, I always like to keep my tester there and some towels. You never know when you need that. Got wires rolled up here. Jumper cables, ropes, little square box full of goodies. And I've got stuff organized. So much better. This is my um, electric fencing stuff. I've got screw-in insulators and gate hooks. But that's a wrap, guys. You just can't beat this car. All-wheel drive. Pretty much drive it anywhere. You can drive a four-wheel drive. And uh, it's a perfect farm car. Good gas mileage, which these days is very important. Just keep the oil checked and full of fuel and check on the tires. You're good to go. Thanks for watching today. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe. See y'all later. How fresh is this stuff? Could be any fresh or we still be grazing.